Physiological psychology, a wrap. Physio-psych is very complex, so here I come with a lyrical mix. Neurons are the basis of behavior. Billions control things minor and major. Three types of neurons, it is said. They work together, not all in your head. Every neuron has three main parts working together like pieces of art. The cell body has a nucleus. Dendrites and axons are a must to carry information from here to there so we can hear what's in the air. Nerve cells are separated by little gaps. The fancy name is the synapse where neurotransmitters come in several classes. They use chemicals and some use gases. Drugs can be antagonistic. This is how people get addicted to alcohol, nicotine, and cocaine. The drug's effects are in the brain. Dopamine, though, is a pretty cool substance. Too much or too little can make you a real dunce. The nervous system comes in two parts, central and peripheral are just for a start. The CNS is the spinal cord and brain. Signals go back and forth, kind of like a train. The peripheral system is conscious and not. Some we control and some we cannot. The sympathetic side is for fight or flight. When danger lurks, our muscles have more might. The parasympathetic helps us to make a return of our body to its resting state. In many respects, these systems are opposite, but together they make a composite. They even control our sexuality, but too much stress, psychotherapy. The brain itself has a lot of parts, forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain for a start. Medulla oblongata and reticular formation help control sleep and bodily regulation. The cerebellum is for motor skills. The forebrain is the site of free will. The cerebral cortex is where we do our thinking. It gets messed up from too much drinking. The hypothalamus is a very small structure, but we need it for a lot of behavior. The pituitary, hippocampus, and amygdala each have a role to play, like basal ganglia. The corpus callosum cuts the brain in halves. This way, left and right have different tasks. Left and right hemispheres play different roles. Cutting the callosum makes information holes. Broca and Wernicke looked at human speech, so the left hemisphere is most fit to teach. The hemispheres have four areas or lobes, sensation, perception, and motor controls. The brain is the product of human evolution. It came to be by cell mutation, genes, and environment are interconnected just like people are interrelated. DNA makes a double helix. Mothers and fathers both add to the mix. Sometimes twins are identical, other times only fraternal, but studies of twins tell us a lot. Nature and nurture is what it's all about. A damaged brain can give us information like what part controls, language comprehension, a mental rod pierced the brain of Phineas Gage. After the accident, he had fits of rage. Studying the brain takes several tracks like watching the brain doing different tasks. The EEG records brain waves. You can see thinking or sitting in a daze. CT scans in the MRI expose the brain to the naked eye, but most impressive are functional techniques. These technologies are really very neat. They give a view of the living brain while listening to music or the patter of rain. The last thing I'll say is about brain death. If I'm a vegetable, see if I have breath. If I am breathing, keep me on the machine. Let's keep hope alive, you know what I mean? So there it is, physio in a nutshell. I'm done, I'm out, I'm Professor Hal. Thank you very much. Okay.